Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you today with an article from Red State from February 26th. I'm only getting to it now because I have been out of town. So we're just getting this a little over a week late. But anyway, you follow the Daily Wire. You uh, you probably heard of Ben Shapiro anyway, but I was going to say that you have probably seen something to this effect so far. And also it's on his Twitter timeline. And I would recommend going and checking it out because it is frightening. And this kind of speaks also to the competency crisis that I've made a number of videos about at this point. So let's just go ahead and get into it. And it's called Ben Shapiro Exposes the Terrifying Reality of DEI in Medicine. There's the man. It's a picture from a few years ago. So it says a societal scourge that is diversity, equity, and inclusion continues to cause chaos in a variety of sectors. On the entertainment front, an obsession with DEI has kneecapped Disney, once one of America's greatest brands. A company that used to be able to put almost anything out and make a billion dollars now can't even turn a profit on its most of its films because they are so badly written and beholden to left-wing orthodoxies. Their solution? More DEI, of course. <clears throat> and there's uh, an article about Disney's DEI disaster. Go ahead and check that out. Continuing, it says, Meanwhile, inside the federal government, recruitment to the U.S. military is nearing crisis levels as traditionally pro-military demographics are choosing not to sign up. Given the focus on diversity over merit regarding promotions and opportunities, again, that's going to mean that you have people who aren't as good doing the things that you need good people to do. So, yeah. So, whistleblowers have also recently reported that the FBI is prioritizing identity politics and its hiring instead of choosing the most qualified candidates. Again, this is not good. It says even the State Department is taking steps to make diplomacy more equitable. Yes, because that's where we need it is, of course, in diplomacy. You know, someone's going to say something at some point to someone in another country, and it's going to be taken the wrong way. And it's going to be because, well, they're numb, and they shouldn't have been there in the first place. It says, but while all those examples of DEI are bad enough, none is worse than the infusion scene in the medical field. Few other sectors have such a direct and personal impact on each and every American. And on Monday, Ben Shapiro provided a terrifying rundown of just how bad things have gotten. And this Monday, as you can see, February 26th. Um, so just to point that out, and again, there's his Twitter thread. If you pull up the video, which is linked below, you can actually see it. And we're going to skip over it right now, but kind of uh, go into this. So it says, I can recall seeing the original post put up by Cashel De Del Rosario in March 2022 and thinking she was joking. And basically what happened was that she was a nursing student at Wake Forest and she was wearing a pronoun pin. And she was going to draw blood from somebody who kind of said like, oh, so pronoun pins just said she, her. And the guy made a comment like, Excuse me, not cutting that out. He made a comment like, well, of course you're she or like, what else would you be? And she said that she purposely stuck the guy uh, twice just for like joking about her pronoun pin. And then like someone else kind of chimed in like, oh, yeah, that was called that's karma. Like I think it was her roommate or something. So this is not a good person right off the bat. So. Uh, continuing on with the article, it says, Surely no one in medical school would purposely harm someone for disagreeing with transgender ideology regarding pronouns. More assuredly, anyone who did would be swiftly and harshly punished, including being expelled. At least, that's what you'd think. But, this is the real world, and this is uh, our country on DEI, so here's what happens. So unfortunately, my assumption was a swing and a miss. According to Shapiro's update on the story, Del Rosario is about to graduate, having never faced any real repercussions for her actions. Further, you and Lou, a classmate who rushed to Del Rosario's aid by calling it, here's what I was talking about, calling it karmatic, that a conservative patient would be harmed, is hired, being hired by UPenn Health to focus on LGBT plus health care. So the situation is unfathomable. It would be like an FAA examiner passing a pilot who purposely slammed their aircraft into the ground during a sim session to prove a political point. I wouldn't be surprised if that actually happened, given the FAA's issues, too. And if you don't know, go look that up. It says there are actions that should be simply disqualifying for certain certifications. Yeah, if you're intentionally harming someone and you're in the medical field, I'm pretty sure the Hippocratic Oath says you're not supposed to harm people. But I'm not a doctor. What would I know? Uh, it says you should not be a doctor if your political views lead you to hurting someone out of spite. Apparently, that's not a standard within American medicine any longer, though. Yeah, and I'll just, quick personal note here. My doctor is like an avowed Democrat, and he brings up politics stuff to me all the time, and I just don't really engage with it. But he's a great doctor. I mean, he really is. He's helped me with so many things over the years, and I trust him with my life, 100%. And that's how it should be, okay? <laughs> like, he's a Democrat. Fine. Don't really care. Um, but you should be, he knows what his job is, and that's to help people, okay, to make people better. As it gets worse, though, with that while the above story is a single incident, the forcing of DEI into medical research runs the risk of affecting wide swaths of people. And here's a more part um, of uh, 
his thread, and I'm going to actually read this because I noticed I knew the story from the one above. I didn't know this until I'd read uh, this thread, so that's why I was able to not really read uh, the embedded tweet, but I'm going to read this one. So what Ben Shapiro said was that, and so he's talking about um, there's uh, an Indian fellow, uh, I think it's actually this dude right here, um, that uh, he says right here. So that's who is this Rahman guy is. So he adds that post George Floyd, Duke made a concerted effort to stop hiring so many walls of white men. He says the team is now abandoning all sorts of metrics and adopting a completely holistic application practice in order to recruit more women and non-white uh, people. I'm guessing I'm not going to click on that because I might end up doxing myself. Um, so it says he also tweeted that he won't amplify medical literature involving only white men because it's not as if white men have ever advanced medicine or anything. So, yeah, this dude right here, this is what we in uh, the real world call a racist. Um, so continuing on the article, it says there could be cures for diseases and life changing new treatments that are never brought to the public research by white men is being scored in the name of DEI. How does that help the sick and wounded? It doesn't. Rather, it puts lives at risk so some overpaid ideologues can feel superior. Correct. So the results of this are predictable. So back to the uh, uh, the embedded tweets from Ben Shapiro. It says, um, the ACS, I don't know what that stands for, but I am guessing it is a medical thing. It says, the ACS also invited Madeline B. Torres, is the lady on the, le on the right, not the left. I can tell by directions apart. Uh, to explain to its members that when patients see physicians who look like them, they tend to do better. She also says grants and awards are being distributed to surgeons on the basis of minority status. So, yeah, so this is, again, this is like the other dude. This is a racist. This is an ideologue. And he also, Ben Shapiro says, this is now the prevailing view in a surgical in surgical medicine. At a recent conference at DEI at UPenn, where you and Lou now works, one surgeon says that it's off-putting that so many surgeons are white men. Okay, so, again, we're back to being these people are racist. And I don't remember which one of them said that here, but as you can see, they're all having a good time with it. So it says, ask yourself what happens when white men decide enough is enough and simply stop going into the field. There's already a sor shortage of healthcare workers in America and in essentially every country. Pushing DEI into the mix and shunning perfectly capable surgeons, doctors, and nurses simply because of their race and sex will exacerbate the situation to critical levels. This isn't sustainable, but since when has unsustainability stopped the far left? DEI must be battled head on. It has to be completely torn down and extricated from every area of life. There's no ignoring it. There's no sitting back and hoping that things moderate to the point of, of tolerability. DEI either goes extinct or there will be nothing left of America's once destroyed institutions. Yeah, and this is what happens. And for the folks out there that are like, DEI just means, or you're saying DEI just means no minorities. No, you should be hiring the people based on merit on this. If all the people are the, be are the best to do the job or not white, fine. Hire them. Don't care. <laughs> okay. Also, I should say that I've never looked at a doctor and been like, oh, that person doesn't look like me. I can't trust that doctor or something like that. It's just never been a thing. Okay, I assume that if you're a doctor, you're smart enough to know what you're doing and I don't have to worry about anything, okay? So, again, we've got a, a severe competency crisis coming. I think in the next generation or two, you're going to start seeing, if this continues, you're going to start seeing some really bad things happen. Like, there's already, like, one of the biggest, I think one of the biggest causes of death in the country is medical malpractice, okay? And you're going to, I think you're going to see that skyrocket and it's going to be because of stuff like this and then these folks who are doing this are going to be like we don't know why it's happening and it's going to be like well we tried to warn you as the right does with everything and the left just does not listen because their ideology matters more than actually uh, making sure that people in this case are getting the help they need so let me know what you think about this in the comments below uh, go check out ben shapiro's thread about it uh, there's articles on the daily wire as well i just thought this one was a smaller article uh, so that's why i went with it or a shorter one i should say so let me know what you think about this in the comments below like share subscribe and i'll talk to you soon bye